on our way late, but we're on our way to Armhook right now. We said we were gonna leave at 8.30. It's not 8.30, it's okay. We'll still be there, you know, when registration is open, so it's only like 10 minutes away from here. So yeah, we'll see y'all when we get there. We have made it to Douglas. There's my poster that I'm presenting. We've got Tracy in the back, Jessica in the back. Y'all be late, it's nine o'clock, supposed to be here for check-in from like eight to nine, but it's okay. You know, the important thing is that we're here. So yeah, we'll see you guys inside. You see South Western has been around for 76 odd years. We have three main purposes, education, healing, and discovery. Perhaps over the 76 years that we've been in existence, we're best known probably for our discoveries because they've been life changing about this guy named Odysseus, and Odysseus goes on this long, epic journey, and the only problem with going on this long, epic journey, Odysseus has a kid at home. His kid's name is Telemachus. So this is like, man, I'm going on this journey. What am I gonna do with my kid? Who's gonna watch out for my kid? So he goes to his buddy, whose name is Mentor, and says, hey, Mentor, I'm going on this long, big, great journey, and somebody's gotta watch my boy. Somebody has to raise my kid up to become a man while I'm gone, right? So Mentor watches his kid. When you think about that, that should change the way you think about the word mentor, right? Because a lot of times we call people mentors who really aren't mentors, they're our advisors, right? A mentor is a really big deal. A mentor is, hey, I'm gonna take you from this, this um, adolescent stage, and I'm gonna spend the time, the energy, the effort to raise you to make sure you achieve whatever it is you're supposed to achieve. There's a lot of effort in being a real mentor, right? So when I'm saying that we need to be mentors, so if you wanna have a, a strong diversity impact score, we wanna be strong mentors, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mommy, wanna say hi to the vlog? <laughs> Introduce your mama. Chocolate mama came to support. <laughs> so we're just here prepping, of obviously, for our presentation at 2.30. Mm -hmm. in like 30. I think it's been really good so far. Yeah. I think it's been really good. Mm -hmm. So proud of y'all. So proud of y'all. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> we're glad that it was in Dallas because it was only like a four hour trip and it wasn't. Like last year it was in Louisiana. And yeah, we didn't have time to travel all the way out there. I so, remember that. Yeah, we like I feel like I've had more purpose here because I have my presentation, and then we have the workshop that we're doing. So it's like, okay, when I leave here, I know I did something. So we'll see. And like we're get, we're able to meet like a lot of the faculty at UC Southwestern, mm -hmm. so it's good for like us. We like went do a ways and stuff next year. And it's applying to residency. Yeah. So it's been like really helpful so far. Yeah, and then one of the doctors was like, at the end of this, you guys are all gonna get an email. You know what I'm saying? To connect yeah. you with whoever you need to be connected with. Yeah. And that's like an intentional way that I haven't seen our school do or like At other all. schools do. So, yeah, yeah that really cool. like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that really felt good. Yeah. It's like people always preach about like increasing Networking. the diversity and stuff in residency programs. Mm -hmm. But it's like, what are you actually doing to do that? And that's they true. are actually trying. Yeah. So, it's Sometimes I feel like in terms of like reaching out to our specific like people of color it's a little bit it takes a little bit more effort and like intention mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people don't want to do that like it's mm -hmm. it's nice on paper to be like oh yeah this is what we need to do x y and z but like it's but not actually implementing it it's like, like a lot of work because you're taking you're using like your own sacrifice of your time of you studying or whatever to like really reach out to people so yeah. I like how they did that at lunch and we've met so many people like we met some of y'all and just connected with people I met somebody with like research interests similar to really? mine, so it's like <laughs> it's not, it's networking, y'all. Yeah, so in our important. workshop, we're definitely gonna have y'all network, so that, that's, that's stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. You'll see, you'll see little clips of like our, how our <laughs> workshop went, but yeah, we're excited. It's like in like the forty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Any last minute words? Nice. They got it. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in our next clip, basically. Bye. I knew 
I couldn't go straight into medical school because I needed a break. I wanted to sleep, watch Netflix, work, adult for a little bit, and then go in. So that's always an option. Don't feel like you have to go straight in if you're not ready. Um, and yeah, so I made this human development and family sciences. It was in the sciences, but it was more like sociology and psychology related. So it wasn't like biochemistry or chemistry, you know, it wasn't like those hardcore science classes. So that's another thing. If you're not a science major, it's okay. Like you can still get into medical school. So don't let anybody say you can. Yeah, it's a little bit about me. And I'm Nekka, born and raised in Houston, around the Houstonians at. Woo! <laughs> um, I went to San Antonio for undergrad and I completed in fall 2016. I had six months off between um, graduation and starting medical school, so it was kind of intentional. I wanted to finish a little bit early just to have some time off. Um, I did, I was a college major. I, I know it's really basic, y'all, but like she said, you do not have to have a science major. We have so many of our classmates who are engineers who did music, music art, like they were they're successful. Of course, you still have to work hard in your science classes. So that's just. Oh, and I'm also interested in internal medicine right now. Um, I'm pretty much going to do primary care as well as work in the hospital. Oh yeah, and I'm interested in LGBTQ. Yeah. So let's get into it. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about branding. You might be looking at just like why are we talking about branding? But I actually had a meeting. So during rotation have the opportunity to like set up meetings with like the program directors of the residency for that specific specialty. Um, so if you're interested in the specialty, it's you know, you should definitely meet with them, see like how you can make yourself more competitive and things like that. And so I met with the psychiatry um, program director because that is initially what I was interested in. And he told me Thanks for coming up. Thanks. Yeah, we appreciate all the love and all that good jazz.